Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 1904 Lounge and Merry Christmas to you all. Hope you're having a good day. My name's Steve Jordan. Thank you for being here today. And look, lots more food. How exciting. Just what you wanted today, wasn't it? Lovely. Uh, we've got loads of stuff going on today, including uh, the quiz, which we'll do in about a quarter of an hour's time. So make sure you're ready and your brain is still working after shutting itself down over Christmas. I now have two special guests to talk about today's game. We're an hour and a half away from kickoff, so please, firstly, would you welcome up to the front here in the 1904 lounge, current club ambassador for the Tigers, it's Mr. Dean Windus. And with Dean today, uh, not only representing our visitors Burnley, but also the Tigers, a team he joined in 1985. He scored over 50 goals for us. He then went to join Middlesbrough and ended up playing for Burnley. He scored 69 goals there. And in the middle of all that, scored the winner in an old firm derby for Celtic against Rangers. Please would you welcome a bit of a local legend, Andy Payton. Andy, welcome. Do you have a good Christmas, sir? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I was working, actually. I work in a children's home. So, um, yeah, I work in there all day. Uh, and I'm working back there tonight. So, okay. yeah, finished at eight this morning. OK, now, the club, firstly, would like to give warm wishes to you and your family. And, of course, Charlie, uh, your son, Holborn boxer, yeah. um, who had to, unfortunately, uh, retire earlier this year. Um, how's he doing? Well, he's here today. Um, he's, he's doing well. He, he found it hard at first, I must admit, because... Uh, he was doing really well, um, but obviously his health has got to come first and um, he had a bleed on the brain and we're very fortunate, you know. Um, but he's got over it now, um, you know, and um, he's a whole City fan. Excellent. Whereabouts are you based? Are you here or there? I live in Burnley. OK, so your heart's with Burnley today then? Well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at a draw today to suit me down to the ground, I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm, I'm staying neutral. <laughs> that means you can get out alive then, is that what he's saying? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. yeah marvellous. Uh, Dean, uh, last time we spoke here, um, it, it had been brilliant. That's another win and all looking rosy and, and expectations high against Rotherham and it never really happened. We need to get back and quickly against a team that's not considered one that's easy to beat for us. Well, no, today I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think that, you know, Burnley will be one of them teams with what you know you're going to get. You know, they're going to play 4 4 2. Dean, Dean Marney, one of my ex players, has come back. You know, Boyd is coming back as well. So that gives that little added spice to it. But, you know, Sean Dyche, you know, sets up his teams basically to, to attack. You know, and they'll be very difficult to break down. Bad performance against Rotherham. Spoke, just spoke to Mickey Field in there and, you know, didn't take our chances. And you know that in, in this division and any division, you don't take your chances, you lose games. So, um, no, we need to get back on track very quickly. As I said there at the beginning, it was a bit of a shock at Rotherham last week. How easy is it to bounce back as a former player yourself against a result like that? Well, it isn't. And I don't know, you can ask me what the team was, but I don't know. I never asked me today. But, um, you know, I don't know what team will play today. I'm sure that he'll, he'll, whoever's fit, you know, and the lads who didn't play at Rotherham, they'll probably play. So, um, you need to get back to winning ways. We always say when we when we stand here that you got to win your home games, and um, we hadn't done bad at home, to be fair. Um, Derby the last you know, time we got beat, but I thought Derby were the best team that we have played this season at the KC. So, but it'll be another tough game today, as you say. You know, Christmas Day has gone now, and uh, hopefully, you know, we can get back on track. As a footballer, how difficult? And maybe I'm asking the wrong person. How difficult is it for you to be a good lad over the festive period? No, I, listen, I was very good when I played, don't get me wrong. You know, you enjoy yourself at the right times, but Christmas is very important. You know, I used to have pasta on, on Christmas Day and go to bed early and, you know, and then uh, enjoy myself Boxing Day night if I could. But, um, <laughs> no, it's very important. You know, footballers are different now and, you know, they, they do the right things. You know, they probably have the Christmas lunch yesterday with the families. I know that the players had a day off yesterday. You know, some, some footballers have been in on Christmas morning and trained um, and then opened the presents with the kids when they got back, so... Do you know, it's important today that the lads get back on track in winning ways and, and Andy will tell you in a minute that you know, Burnley are a decent side. Yeah, Andy, as neutrals would look at it, um, it's a four-horse race at the moment at the top of the Championship. We're up there, Burnley are up there. Um, tell us a bit more about Burnley. What are we looking at today? Well, they're very solid. Um, they've done well this season. Uh, I think they rely a lot on uh, Andre Gray up front, you know, with his pace. Um, I think he's got into double figures. I think the next top scorer has got two, something like that, possibly three. Um, I think if Hull can nullify 
you know, the threat of Gray, they've got a great chance. Um, Burnley have been sort of picking up points without playing really well. Um, but they do have a good record here. Yeah. Um, although that counts for nothing, uh, as you know. But it should be a good game. Um, but, you know, one thing I would expect is, a, you know, a tough game for Hull. You know, I think the first goal today is very important. So you want to win, uh, you want to draw, sorry, but what, what, where would your money go if I gave you a fiver now? Where would you put it? Well, I don't gamble, actually. Um, I stopped doing that a couple of years ago, so... Uh, well, I'm paying for you with a fiver. Uh, well, I'd put it on a draw. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just think, um, I mean, um, no, I can see it being a draw, actually, but like I say, first goal, very important. I think if Burnley go 1-0 up, you know, it's going to be really tough. Uh, for, for Hull, but in saying that, Hull have bounced back a few times after being a goal down, but it should be a good game, but like I say, if they can nullify that threat of Andre Gray up front, um, they've got a great chance. Dean, what about you? What do you think? Well, I agree with Andy. I think the first goal is the key for me, because, as you say, you know, Sean Dyche will play against Sean. He's a, an aggressive centre-half, and he's well-organised. He gets his, you know, you know the full-backs tucked right in, you know, makes it very difficult for the opposition, so... I think if we do score first, you know, then we'll go on and win the game. But I agree with Andy, it's going to be a tight game. I, I think it'll be a tight game. Both teams obviously striving to get back into the Premier League after, the, after coming out of it. So it'll be, it'll be a tough game, it'll be interesting. Just so we know for when we come back after the game, do we have any Burnley fans in the room yeah. at all? Yeah. Quite a few, some down here. Hello, you all right? You there? Excellent, we'll be looking out for you after the game. Whatever the result, <laughs> either to hide or gloat. But thank you for being here today and to you as well. Dean Windus and Andy Payton, thank you very much for being here today. Cheers, fellas.